I'm going to put the lid down. I don't believe there's any uh, thing that would shut it off just because that's open, but it could be. Don't let know for sure. I don't think there is. And I thought this was made back in the late 70s or early 80s, but I was looking on my pictures and it said I saw something that said 93, so it may have been made in 93. Now that's one thing. Yeah, open it up and see if that... No, that element hadn't been on. So I'm gonna... See if that heating element comes on. When it comes on, you can hear it and you can feel a little, some heat. It's not doing it this time. There's a screw missing out of the drum. Let's see. Nope. I keep wanting to look at it, but actually, well, I mean, it might help. The light might, if it was very slightly red, then it might help. Now, the heating element could be, be uh, you know, uh, well, if it was heating up a while ago, I mean, it could be on slash legs, but it's been heating up since I've been... Well, the first thing I noticed is it was heating up when it shouldn't be, you know, so... I test The door deal works perfectly, the door switch. But from what I read, this model, that thermistor in the front, that it senses the, the temperature. Some things said it senses it moisture, but it's not a moisture sensor. I, I'm looking at it. Uh, looking at the part, you know, it's uh, the new part anyway. Uh, unless I got the wrong one. Well, it's the same number. Let's see. It's a number that's look uh, on the site. Uh, what's it? I can't remember the repairclinic.com. I think is the name of it. It's real good for helping you figure out what's wrong. There's a whole bunch of them, but that's the first one I discovered about 20 years ago now, I guess. That uh, really it'd give you lots of good how tos and everything. And uh, that's where I bought those parts I've been talking about. They've gotten more expensive. The last time I bought something from a refrigerator, I found it on there and then bought it on Amazon for like half the price or a quarter of the price. The ice maker for the refrigerator. And it's supposed to be OEM. I mean, it could be a rip, a, a copy, you know, to look like an OEM, but it does. it's been working for at least six months or eight months now. So, of course, the other one, the original one, worked about five or ten years. I can't remember when we bought the thing now. We bought that refrigerator new. Might be 10 years ago now. But anyway, uh, that one in the front. See, see, I'm thinking, well, what if I, what if I uh, bypass it or put the new one in? I've got the brand new one. If, if it'll go in that same spot. It does not look like it. And it doesn't look like any of these either. So I know it's not uh, one of these. These things, the OEM ones, like on that website, they're fifty-four, fifty-six, fifty-five dollars. The, the one that I know the partner for, and then the others, I still haven't I f figured out a hundred percent which one would be the right one because if I look up the model that's that I've got off the tag on this thing, it does not find me my, it doesn't show up. I ju all I can find is Whirlpool. I mean. I think Westinghouse may be bought out by Whirlpool because I keep finding Whirlpool parts that say, when I do my search for my, I put White Westinghouse in this part number that's on the tag on the back of this dryer, and I keep coming up with Whirlpool parts. So I can't remember. Uh, it may be that Whirlpool took over Westinghouse, White Westinghouse. You do find some information on Westinghouse, but you don't find anything about White. And... Uh, White's used to be a department store that was pretty, pretty plenty. There was a lot of them that sold appliances here in, a, in Tech, North Texas, and I imagine around the country they they were you know as much, they had their own appliances, so they must have been bigger than just Texas. Let's see, there's an L330 and an 330. I'm looking at uh, some stamp stuff. I am starting to wonder. Well, the, the heating element didn't do like that. 
course, that doesn't mean it wouldn't do it next time. It seems to be more of a random thing. Let's turn it. Was that about 20 minutes? Turn it on again. And then. Uh, it's making all that noise because I'm Jerry rigged a, the bearing wore out and I'm. I'm I made a, a, not a bearing or a bush. Uh, I, let me just pay attention to what I'm doing here. It's been a year ago or more now. I, uh, it's not, no heat, no element coming on. I doubt I'll get it to do it again now. There's these uh, switches that got too many wires and they're too complicated for me to know how to make it come on without that. <coughs> it's in the off position and the little knob is worn. It's in real bad shape. It's uh can move it real far. Oh it comes right off of there. It it broke it's plastic you know and it broke years ago and uh, it's got that quarter inch uh, half round flat on one side and I put some uh epoxy or something it looks like epoxy in there and it, it still works but it you know it was always a little loose but it's really gotten loose and man i've i have recently in the last well this last year i was looking you never could find them at all unless they were like outrageous prices i'm talking over 25 to 50 dollars and that's crazy but i have seen them similar ones that probably would work for uh I saw one that said it was for a, I guess it was a West, I don't know if it said Westinghouse or Whirlpool, but anyway, it's a white one that looks from the same design as this one, about the same size, for $12.99 or something. I saw another one first, saw some, it really doesn't matter what they're designed for, is they're just in the same, fit that quarter inch flat shaft. Well, the one thing that would be wrong about them is, you know, they would, the, this wouldn't be pointing, the, the little marker wouldn't be pointing in the right direction if it, wasn't made to the exact same way. Of course, you could, you know, what you could do is just get one without a mark, or get one with a mark, and then if it don't part in the right place, uh, paint, you know, cover it over with paint or a marks or mar a permanent marker, and then make you a white mark where you want it, or an orange. That's an orange one. Make an orange mark, whatever. Yeah, on a white one, you could do that. But I, I'm. Uh, Tired of it being like that. Anyway, that's the least of the troubles if it don't work, right? It's not working at all. But it's making all that noise because uh, it was going to take too long, you know, like a, maybe a week to get my bearing kit, which I have a brand new bearing kit that I bought, I don't know when now, a year or more ago, two years ago. But I, we needed the dryer. We use it. Uh, Somebody is always using it every single day. And... Uh, so when I needed it uh, to do clothes, I had it was time for me to do clothes, you know. And so uh, I got out here and spent 12 hours making a bushing setup, bearing not not a bearing, not a bushing either, really. What I used was uh, a U joint, a U joint uh, strap for my 70, that an old one that got bent and messed up out of my '76 uh, Chevy Blazer, the rear end, the differential on my Blazer. Uh, I was always having, whenever I'd be, some, uh, uh, have trouble breaking U-joints sometimes. Uh, have, well, uh, it can't, you can't keep stock U-joints in it. You've got to put, uh, uh, the, I found a brand called Super Strength that are extra heavy duty, and you can grease them and I put them in it. But even, it's a real severe angle. It's jacked up. Uh, but you can break, if you put it in low gear and uh, get too rough on it, you can, the, the, the motor's got enough torque to break them that way too. Don't, especially if you try to do burnouts on pavement, don't do that. But uh, I taught my transfer case doing that one time, trying to impress a girl. I really showed her how cool I was. She was pretty uh, pretty impressed how I got under there and fiddle around for about five minutes and threw the draft shaft, the rear shaft in the back, and put it in front, uh, four wheel drive, and let the front shaft take us on. And so we still made it to the restaurant. <laughs> But we were all in a big group going to a restaurant, and everybody had already left by the time I decided to show off. Anyway, uh, that was $750 worth of fun there. 
I had it fixed. I didn't uh, didn't do it myself. I used to always do everything myself. And until about that time, I was at that very time I was still making good money in GD and General Dynamics, and uh, I was tired of crawling around in the dirt and the mud, you know, working on stuff, <laughs> the grease. <clears throat> okay, so. Uh, I don't know that those are, well, obviously, the, uh, I mean, it makes perfect sense to me. I've started on it all all day, making sure I could remember and understand what would what should happen and shouldn't happen. My memory's not good these days, so I have to refresh, and all those pictures really help me. Everything looks just like, well, of course, it looks just like it did in the pictures, but I had, I knew what to expect when it came out here, that it's just that, uh, yeah. Anyway, have the uh, the have the the factory, you know, the replacement for the bearing. Have the well, have the whole kit. It's got the felt for the front and everything. Uh, I put a bearing in once, and then I again it wore. It, they usually last about ten, eleven years. Those bearings in the back, which I guess that's not too bad. They're just especially being that they're the the thing on the screws on the back of the drum is like a trailer hitch ball. It's very small. It's about an inch in diameter. And then the bearing is a plastic cup that it hooks into. And that's what wears out is that plastic cup always wears out. But what I put in there was uh, I left this original ball, trailer hitch ball in there. And I just met, figured out a way to mount that uh, U-joint cap under it. So it's just sitting on that. When it's greased, it's okay. It's just fine. It's moving so slow. I just didn't have anything... I mean, that took me 12 hours while I was making videos, too, and that always makes everything take longer. But, uh, anyway, I, I I had some wheel bearings and stuff. I, I could have figured out a way to put a wheel bearing in there, but it was just going to be, I just figured it would be a several-day job, you know, so. And I, was, and I knew I was going to order the parts, so. I didn't plan on leaving that in there as long as I had. Yeah, that it got. I've got a new belt. That belt's showing signs of wear, but I remember the first one we replaced, or the first one we, yeah, the first one we replaced was after we already had the thing for probably 20 years, maybe not that long, 10, 15 years, 15 years. This one is not too bad. Is these things will just last and last, but. Uh, From what I understand, go back to that. From what I understand, uh, all that other sensor, I'm trying to figure out, is that why it's not working? The other sensor on this machine, it just turns off the motor if it senses uh, overheating in the duct work there. It's, it hooks all the way up in the front. And I saw into something else, it was saying it was a moisture sensor, but believe that was a different brand but they were still calling it a thermistor people not only just people call thermistor they call things that are probably should be called a thermostat or some well uh let's see where did i get it depends on the um different companies different manufacturers may call it a uh, different versions of the word thermostat. Thermistor is not a thermostat. It's, uh, <clears throat> I can't explain it right now. I'm too much in circles. I'm looking around. Anyway, the thermistor is what I have. And, you know, and I, I remember, uh, I see where I bought it and everything else. And, uh, yeah, it's not that. Where is it? Brought it out. I think it's in my pocket. Let's get let's get this and look at it. Okay, it's not anything like. I do know that the 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 one that's in there that I was suspecting the high limit sensor I thought might be bad is why it wasn't coming back on. But I just bypassed it and it didn't come back on. This is not one. Okay, that other one back there. No, doesn't mount anywhere near the same. Okay. So I think this is just a different looking replacement. Come over here and look at it. Oops. Got this light on my hand now. I, I like to put it, the strap on my hand to keep me from dropping it. It's not really a work light. It's a, it's a 
weather radio with a light in it. It's kind of delicate. Okay, so uh, I've never taken it out of the bag. It's uh, two prongs there. See the way it works, the way it mounts, I mean. And then the other side, I don't want it to open the bag up unless I'm going to use it. One cool thing about that store where I bought this is you can, we got a year to return this stuff. I decided to keep it, but that's all there is, and that's the part that goes into the duck. Now, I do, in the videos that I saw, I saw videos of installing these, but then when I look at mine, um, it's, uh, it's, it's a way different looking. And I'd have to go back and look at the pictures again. I can't remember if the mounting is the same. That's what tell me a lot. If the mounting is, you know, if this had fit in there, then it, I'm going to figure it's probably, I did get the right thing. And those are way too little to look at, but. Thermistor, and then it has the part numbers and stuff. But, uh. I'm gonna put it. Now let's yeah, let's put it back in my pocket. Well, I don't want to break it or anything. I'm not trying to think of words to say. This place probably over there. Sometimes I lay stuff down like that and then I can't find it. Okay, well, it's got. But I mean, I have that and I could put it in, but it's a heck of a job. As a matter of fact, I think. I mean, you you know you couldn't reach it. I just realized even if you well, there's only one small. Let me look. Yeah, there's one small access panel back there. That would be impossible. My arms are not really... You couldn't... It's up here, about right in here, and you'd have to reach through that little bitty panel. And once you get it open... Well, it's not... It's, once you know how, it's actually not that hard getting the drum out. But I don't want to do that uh, now. It's nighttime. About probably nine or after in the evening. At night, and uh, I don't want to take all this apart, knowing that I have to get it back together. Uh, bro, it did actually dry some clothes after I think it ran six or eight hours, <laughs> and we went ahead and unhooked the the dryer vent so that it couldn't be the problem, you know. And it didn't help; it didn't make it start working or anything. So the problem isn't just that it's clogged up, at least not this, you know. Like I thought there could be a bird nest in the top, but I can't get up there to check. This could be dirty, the one going across. It could be clogged, I think, possibly. But about a year ago, when it first started acting up, I stuck a, 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 a nylon plastic air hose, I mean a plastic line, water line is what it's really for, uh, on the end of my uh, air sprayer on my air compressor. And I, I, it does 125 C, uh, PSI. So... Uh, and I blew up that. No, no dust came down whatsoever, which I was really surprised. I figured something would fall down out of there. And then I blew from the front because that, you know, you don't have to take anything apart. Just take the the screen out and blew that way with the door off. I mean, with the pipe off. And I didn't see a whole bunch coming out of there like I thought it might. Now, I, and I don't, like I said, getting down on the floor and all that's really hard. But uh, I'm thinking if. If I could, uh, something that wouldn't be too hard to stick in there. Oh, I know one thing I thought of. Let's see, we have some old brooms. This one here. Oh, this one doesn't have a... You know what, I bet I could squish that up and stick it in there. Okay, now that would be worth trying, I think. So, I'm going to put this camera over this way, and uh, I've got my chair in the way here. There we go. Now I got to be closer so that I can. Uh... Sorry. Okay. I was trying to figure out a way I could do it with this, with this, uh, yeah, this is not good, okay.
Yeah, there's where I'm wanting to go. It's down there. What I'm thinking is I'll ha I will have to turn it to use that uh, room. I'll have to turn it all the way around. Let's see, I better unplug it, I guess. Uh. I was going to put those gloves on, but let's let this down. That just snaps on, so I guess I can go ahead and snap it down. I'm not going to be... There we go. I didn't have it plugged in all the way so that it would be easy to... I, you just stick a part enough in there to get those open. Anyway, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to mess around up on top anymore. Okay, so <coughs> you couldn't see where I was at that time. Maybe a little bit. All right, now. Uh, well, you know when you you try to shortcut things, like I didn't want to f take a couple of minutes to get that extra long lapel. And, uh, of course, I wasn't thinking because how did I think I was going to be able to do anything? I didn't remember this cord being this short, though. There we go. Now this is going to be hard. Oh, I have my chair. I think I can do it from the chair. I've got a rolling chair here. I may have to... I guess I should just let this thing down quite a bit. Yeah, that'll make me not be so high to where I can't get my cord down where I'm at. So... Yeah, about right there. Oh, I didn't think that would still be aiming where I wanted it, but it is. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, now that makes me be able to reach it, looks like. I think I can squeeze this. Get it in there. It's old and messed up, so it doesn't matter. If it... I'm twisting it, just like those ones you buy to stick on your drill. Yeah, see, there's not much in there. Not much in there at all. Now I'm going to turn it back around and... But yeah, that little bitty cover there is all you... You know, that's, that's the only access you got from the back. Not anywhere enough, close to enough to... To get to that all the way to the front to replace that thermistor. Let's see. Yeah. I'm just kind of put it in the general area of where it should be. Let's go this way again. <sighs> okay. Yeah, because when I opened that, it would have been blocked anyway. And uh, there's just very little in the basket. One of the clues 